Alrighty, this. Okay, this is gonna be great. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So this week I wanted to talk about something that is constantly plaguing me almost every minute of every day of my life. Okay, that's a bit of an over exaggeration, but. It happens every day and it's uh, just something I deal with regularly and I wanted to share so that maybe if any of you are dealing with something similar, it might be helpful. Uh, and so the big beast that I have been waiting to name is self-doubt. And it is a big, ugly monster. <sighs> and I don't know if I struggle with this a lot because I have interesting short-term memory. We'll just put it that way. Um, and so sometimes, you know, I literally cannot remember if I've done something or not. And so, you know, there there's these situations where like, example, self-doubt is like, I won't be sure if I did something or not, even if like I did it already. Uh, like, uh, maybe I think I left and I'm like, did I lock the door? Even though I always lock the door, I definitely lock the door, I lock the door. Then I'm going to be like thinking about, I can't remember locking the door. Did I lock the door? Did I lock the door? Did I lock the rest of the door I'm, day? I'm thinking about, did I lock the dang door? And that's like self-doubt. Uh, or in a work setting, and this is where it gets me more than anything because I just, this, this perfectionism, I just want to get things right. I just want to be a good employee and I want to be good at work and my job. And so, um, you know, it's like each and every email, like if I'm emailing someone or a client, like after I hit the send button, I always have this initial like gut feeling of panic, like oh, you didn't proofread enough or oh, you sent it to the wrong person or did you just hit delete instead of send or did you just like, there's always something when I send an email, especially if it's an important email to a client or someone or just I just like have this moment where I have to go back and relook at it after I've sent it to make sure it was right. Even though I made sure it was right before I sent it. Like I probably looked at it like a hundred times before I sent it. And then I still, after I've already sent it and it's too late, have to go back to the sent folder and look at it again to make sure it's still right. Uh, you know, it's, it's frustrating. And see, that's where I'm at now. And that's an improvement because where I was before would be I wouldn't be able to hit send on the email because I was just so paralyzed I would get it wrong like paralyzed like um like terrified like that uh misuse of the word paralyzed terrified um that I would get it wrong. You know, I I would just get, oh, I guess stuck. I would just get stuck, um, you know, right before hitting the send button. And I would just be like, oh, I can't send it. I can't send it. I got to read it again. I gotta... And it's like, no, eventually you just have to say, tell yourself, it's all okay and send anyway. Even when you have that feeling like something's still wrong, something's still wrong. You just have to push past it um, because otherwise you'll never act. It's kind of a similar thing I realized like when I'm doing something creative or art it just never is good enough. I always find something to dislike and to hate about my own art. So I had to get to a point where I could just say, okay, this is reasonable. I just need to stop and just stop. Um, because there's always, I could always find something else wrong. Uh, and so it's just kind of finding that peace and that balance with yourself because if you are just too much of a perfectionist, you will never like finish any project because you will never be able to find a stopping point. And it's detrimental. And I had a lot of issues with this, especially in school. Uh, and sometimes I just, you know, with certain like homework projects, I just wouldn't even turn them in. Yeah. Uh. So, you know, this really was a thing for my a long time in my life. And I guess it's still a thing now. It's just a different thing now. It's getting better. I'm working on it. Uh, but th those are, that's just um, my thoughts, my, my revealing um, truth about self-doubt. And, you know, I get the same thing 
at the end of every video. Like, I've shot a video and I feel like it's probably garbage and I go back and watch it and I'm like, okay, it makes sense. And then I post the video and then after I publish it, I'm like, eh, this is crap video. Nobody, you know, it's not, it's, and then I just, I don't know. I just, until something has been confirmed otherwise that I assume it's probably not that good. It's, I don't know why. That's just a pattern of thinking that I'm trying to make better. Anyway, guys, um, let me know your thoughts. Do you kind of get stuck in this kind of a loop sometimes? What are your strategies, most importantly, for dealing with this kind of a bit of a destructive thought pattern? How do you get yourself out of it? Uh, thank you guys so much. I hope you found this video helpful. Help if you did, give me a thumbs up. I put out new videos every Wednesday. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a video. Uh, anyway, guys, I will talk to you next week. Bye!